You know, our local animal shelters do a fantastic job of caring for homeless animals as they wait to be adopted and settled into their loving homes. Unfortunately, there are many more that are living on their own, especially cats. And that's why each year, Faithful Friends Animal Society and Delaware Humane Association partner up to build cat shelters to keep colony cats warm throughout the winter this year because of COVID restrictions. The building plan had to change just a little bit. With us this evening is Sarah Granda. Sarah is the marketing and public relations manager with Faithful Friends Animal Society joining us via Zoom. How are you, Sarah? Good, good. Happy to be here with you all virtually, of course, but very excited to be here with you all. It's wonderful to have you. So uh, we're talking about shelters. Tell us about these shelters. How are these shelters made? Well, it's actually, they're very simple, which is really awesome for people to be able to create at home for the cats that they may have, whether there's a few in their backyard or they're caring for a colony. They are actually just made out of large storage bins that you pretty much can find in anybody's home. Um, just the ones with the lids are great. And we think that getting the two sizes, so you actually need two to create one cat shelter. So you go ahead and you measure out the box. You cut the styrofoam. I also want to apologize. I do have a cat right here that you may see. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I have a Zoom meeting, he usually sits right here. So I've been trying to find him. I'm not going. That's well. okay. Um, so you cut the styrofoam to fit every side of the box. So you fill the bottom with styrofoam each side, and then you put that second storage bin inside of it. And it will be a little snug, but that's on uh. purpose. So after that, you actually fill it with straw. And we recommend straw rather than hay because straw actually absorbs the moisture and um, is less prone to rotting and molding. So you can use it for, for a very long period of time, pretty much the whole fall and winter. That's interesting. And you guys make them every year. How many do you make? We started this back in 2009. So this is, it's been 12 years now of us doing it. And when we originally started, we had a small goal of making about 50 of them. So not too large, nothing too crazy. But as the years have gone on, we have seen that the demand has risen. So so is our goal. So this year, we actually have had our largest goal yet of 250 cat houses. Wow. And we're also wow. having a goal of $5,000 to be raised. Uh, we do not take any funding from the government. So we really rely on our community, which has we can because they are just so supportive of us. Um, so our goal for this year was $5,000 and we actually raised um, $4,850. So we're so close to reaching the goal money wise, but we have surpassed our goal of 250 cat shelters being made. We've had some volunteers come in in small groups together and make them, as well as we've had a couple Eagle Scout troops make them for us, which has been wonderful. Just today, you were in Sussex County with a distribution of the cat houses. Um, yes. That had to be nice. And you're also looking for cat colony keepers. Explain that. Faithful Friends, we really recognize that those who care for these colony cat takers are just regular community citizens just like you and me you know they are people that take time and money out of their day to go care for these animals and we want to be there to support them these people are kind of our eyes on the ground um, they see these cats every single day they feed them provide water and shelter for them and they're the ones who keep an eye on them in case they become ill or have an injury and they need medical attention. Sarah Granda with the Faithful Friends Animal Society. Thank you for what you're doing. And thank you thank you for sharing it with us this afternoon. Of course, of course. We will have information on how you can help them out on our website, domarvalife.com.